All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? How we doing tonight? Shout out to everybody that is still here after what just happened. So everybody, my oh, say hi to Harold. That was unfortunate because my power decided to go out right in the middle of the countdown. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty silly right there, but we're still here. We're live. Everybody, shout out to 50 of you watching right now. What's up? How we doing? Look who we have here. Hanan, Sam Blue, Sophie Fitness. What's up, Sophie? How we doing? Man, a lot of regulars coming in tonight. That's awesome. That's awesome. So thanks for uh, tuning in, everybody. I uh, appreciate you guys always coming into live streams. I, I really I like the way this is set up now. Every Wednesday night. I'm thinking about going back to Saturdays. I'm thinking about going back to Saturdays. It would be pretty cool to do that. And I have this now on a little. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This always messes up on me. Hold on. Hold on. Getting situated here, people. This is important. This is important. Man, I look terrible. Ugh. And by the way, guys, if you're new, I always can see who's new and who is not new based on who asks for shout outs and all that stuff. I don't give you shout outs. Not really my thing. I ban people that ask for shout outs. Harold is looking on me. I'm not, but shout out to you, Harold. Harold, um, thank you, Morgan, for liking the cutoff. I decided to rock the Avenged Sevenfold tonight. We're doing that. We're doing that. Yeah, Saturdays might be able to work, but then again, I myself work on Saturdays, and it's kind of like the downside to that. But let me get this angle right so I can get Harold in and everything. Harold asked me, he's like, Eric, can you just please include me in the live streams? I really, I feel, I don't feel included enough. And so we had a little talk together, and I said that, yes, I talked to the posters on my wall. Event Sevenfold is boring. Oh, I thought you said Event Sevenfold is boring. It's like, damn. Uh, what other bands do I like? I like, well, if we're going to talk about other bands right now, if anybody's listening to the new Day to Remember album, fire, pure fire. Right now, you guys, since you are at the very beginning of the live stream, you are tuning in. Shout out to you guys. Say what's up. You guys are in the latest video. We have World Class Douchebag. We have Hanan, Sophie Fitness. Everybody's tuning in right now, 57 on this Wednesday night. We have delicious food and me and Harold. What an awesome night. What an awesome night. Um, world class already coming through with the band. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So everybody, what do we have tonight? What do we have? So you guys are gonna be seeing this. That's what we call Camarón. Camarón. Look at that. Look at that HD. That HD view right now. Camarón. And then if you guys are on my social media, you, you will see that I've been making this bomb eggplant pizza. Now, if you guys haven't tried this yet, I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys give this a shot. Man. Oh, give that a shot. I'll be giving it a shot in a few minutes for you guys. And of course, we have our Brussels sprouts. Roasted, 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 roasted. So, yeah, this tripod needs to, I can actually mount this on a tripod now, that's why I'm stoked. Of course it falls. Anytime I want to do something like this, it just does not work. It, it, it never wants to work out, guys. It never wants to work out. We're trying to, we're trying to make this happen. I look like a fool. Look like a fool, look like a fool. Ooh, nip slip. Um, shout out to Dylan, what's up, dude? Classes are going okay. I go to school with a lot of idiots, but you know, it is what it is, right? Um, and I will get to the title of this webcast here in a few seconds. Uh, have I heard of a band called Dream Theater? Yes, I've heard of a band called Dream Theater. 
yes, I have. One of the, arguably one of the best bands for metal of all time. Before I get to anything, guys, we have to try out the eggplant pizza, which will be going up in the latest vlog, which I hopefully will be posting today. So, boom. Check out those eggplant pizza games, though. Taste test. It's about that time. Fire. Even though it's kind of falling apart, but that is delicious. Seriously, though. And I never really tried eggplant before I started making this. Live streams, they approve. Boom. And I didn't burn my hand. I didn't burn my hand. Now I tried to make this one, I cut it a little bit too thin. It got a little burnt. It's like a burnt disc. Yeah, I love burnt things, but I'm not gonna eat that. Is eggplant good? Eggplant has like a nutty texture or nutty taste to it. I like it. Get some eat my get some meat my uncle. I have meat. Shrimp. Boom. Look at that focus. This is uh, everybody. I just want to let you guys know this is this is sesame, technically sesame shrimp. Boom. Um. World class. I understand your app crashes every time, but. Where's the meat? What kind of cameras? No cereal tonight, Eric. Um, I don't typically eat cereal during my live streams, but now I did get a cereal recently, meaning last night, and it was absolutely disgusting. You guys will have to tune into the vlog that we posted for that one, but. Shana Brooke 22 says, hope your birthday was awesome. It was. And apparently I'm a forever loner because I didn't post the, um, I didn't post a bunch of clips of me with um, getting shit faced with friends and, you know, the whole typical 23 year old birthday experience because I just like to go out to dinner with my mom. <laughs> Your ears. Oh yeah, I look like I look like Harold right now. I look like a monkey. That's funny because it's pretty much just. No, I guess it, I guess they're just naturally like that. What is he eating? He's eating it all. Sam Blue, Eric, if you had not gone through your Ed, where do you think you would be right now? I think that's probably the fifteenth time you've asked that question. But um, I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Thoughts on vegan gains. I like how vegan gains is putting more of his um, significant other in his videos now. Granted, it's pretty cringeworthy sometimes, but he's making good content. What did I do today? So guys, today, I am so, I'm gonna say this exactly like this. I'm so fucking excited because I got my car back. I have my car back now. So I can actually like do stuff now. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Um, yeah, I got groceries tonight at the store and remembered I can actually get like real groceries now.
it's so slow. But because before I could only haul like my backpack of stuff back to my apartment. And it was just like, hell yeah. What do my parents think about my live streams? I have no idea. No idea. What was the worst injury I've ever had? A dislocated collarbone. I've never broken any bones. Knock on wood. Do I work a nine to five job? I technically work a, a nine to seven job. Do I like soda? Absolutely hate soda. I hate soda with the passion. This is a great question from Sophie. Um, how many um, subscribers did I have for my first live stream? And I think I had, World Class, do you wanna answer this for me? I think I had like maybe 2,000, I don't know. Shout out to Crystal. What's up Crystal, how you doing? Now I can finally make use of um, your uh, package that you sent me because I got my car back. Do I work out every day? Yes. Hanan, I would not be mad if you left this stream for 15 minutes to go to sleep. Why do I not get fat? Check out my video in every single description. I am underweight, says Christopher. How can I eat more, stay healthy, and stay fit? Well, um, you can eat more, stay healthy, and stay fit by having a plan, having a regimen, but not being overly fixated on it. And also just using basic, I mean, common sense, not eating like a dumbass. Um, yeah, I mean, you just kind of have to know your way around nutrition for the most part, which really isn't that hard. My daily protein intake. I wouldn't know. I don't track it. Um, but recently, guys, I have taken it upon myself. I think I mentioned this in the last live stream, but I've been I've decided to increase my dietary fat intake, and also, you could say my protein intake has has gone up as well. So just, I mean, you don't have to track your you don't have to track those macros in order to. Um, increase those things or decrease those things. It's what a huge misconception is right now. Um, but, you know, it's it's really just, I mean, you simply add in, for example, if you need more, if you need more fat, take in two extra tablespoons of peanut butter before you go to sleep. It's not that hard. If you need more protein, uh, eat another handful of nuts, eat another in four, stupid joke, um, have another, scoop of protein. It's really not that hard, guys. So on top of your meals already, obviously. So how can you do cheat days? Um, I don't have a schedule of them. Team peanut butter for sure, Sophie. Where it's at. What did I do yesterday? Um, I went to school. What percentages do you typically use for your macros? I don't track my macros like I just said.
the thoughts on almond butter? Almond butter is great. The hard part about almond butter, and I'm, I've been actually making my, if you guys are on my Instagram, you'll see that I made my own peanut butter last night. It's, um, I like making my own peanut butter and almond butters. So, I mean, that's like, if you can do it, like you can just do so much with them. Like I like making, um, like I did like, uh, last night I did like a honey, honey nut, honey cinnamon peanut butter and it was absolutely delicious. So, um, almond butter is too expensive if you buy it, if you buy it in the jar and everything. Um, but yeah, I think making your own is amazing. So you guys have to try it out. Um, where am I living? Uh, that's something I keep private, but thank you though. Did I see Apple's press conference on the new iPhone? It was so funny because a bunch of kids were talking about it in class. Um, yeah, yesterday complaining about like the headphone jack and everything. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I honestly guys haven't really looked into the details. I've only seen the headphone jack and I think it's waterproof. Am I gonna buy it? Probably, I'm not gonna lie. I'm an Apple whore, but if there's anything I'm gonna be spending my money on first, it is upgrading this or that. It's so weird guys, cause like when I show you guys something, I wanna automatically go for my webcam on my MacBook, but then I realize that I have an additional, I have an actual webcam now, so. I'm going to be upgrading my Canon G7X soon, meaning like within the next few days. And the huge debate with me right now, and if any of you guys are photography people at all, um, you guys can kind of weigh in on this, but I want to get the Sony A6300. So what that is is essentially this with a, uh, it's a mirrorless, camera that can shoot in 4k i don't really shoot in 4k i shoot in 1080p but i like the option of being able to learn how to shoot in 4k i don't know but that's kind of where i'm at with that um i love eric for the Eight times says, well, a 6,000 calorie day once a week put me back, I'm cutting. No. It depends on how often you have that, though. I mean, it's, if, it's, if it's a frequent occurrence, then yes. What is the average intake of calories for a male athlete? I have no idea. No idea. But what I do know is that I have nothing here. So you guys can get a view of my kitchen. My kitchen and my swag. I don't know why I chose to use that word, but Oh, I hate this because it like cuts off right here. I don't know why I cut it like that, but I don't know why I did. I do stupid things sometimes. I do stupid things. But I'll tell you guys what is not stupid is making this eggplant. This eggplant pizza because it really is amazing. It is amazing. So 
that awkward silence though. By the way, guys, just so you know, this is what legit homemade peanut butter looks like. That is nothing but vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, and roasted peanuts, my friends. Stay tuned for the next video. But seriously, though. Sirs. I kind of want to do more, um, I guess you can say, recipe videos, which is why I want to get that new camera. But it's hard because the camera's like freaking twelve hundred bucks. Twelve hundred dollars. So it's hard to justify that, but then again, that's my entire life is YouTube. Right? Can't remember what I was going to get. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'm done digging around over here. I'm done digging around. What's for dessert? <laughs> I was going to say my anus. <laughs> These nuts. Um, I don't know. Probably some peanut butter. Um, let's see here. Did you do a mad cleanup before the stream? I don't know. I don't think. Is there? Is my apartment clean or something? Because I always think my apartment's dirty. I'll tell you what is clean, though, is my car. Whew, they dial that shit in. That was awesome. My car needed to be clean. Check that out, boom. What is the main reason why you do challenge? Hunger. I guess that's time for me to announce what I'm planning on doing for my next eating contest. So guys, there is a poutine eating contest. It's in Hollywood, and it's this weekend. So I am going to go on the record and say that I've never had poutine before in my life. Never. Not once. So I want to go do it because I haven't done a contest in a long time. We'll put it that way. And I think that it's going to be good practice for the main challenge event that I have. I have, I have. I have a very big event coming up, I'm going to say. And it's like a week-long thing uh, in the coming months. So I need to train for it, eating related. So... Yeah, I need some practice. So that's how you guys, that's what I wanted to reveal to you guys. You guys will see all the updates too if you're on my social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, you know. You know the drill, come on. But yeah, I've never had poutine before. Will you ever do a 20.00 cal challenge? Um. That would be kind of pointless. Unless if, um, if it was a theme challenge, I would. I kind of want to do like that. Um, um, what should we call it? Raw vegan challenge, but I don't feel like getting drunk on fruit because I did that enough already. Well, guys, it's 
it's about that time. I'm responding to a Snapchat. I'm responding to one. Believe it or not, guys, I do respond. It's just infrequent. Very, very, very infrequent. I don't know. Snapchat's just to me is just like I just don't like using it. I don't know what it is. I'm more of an Instagram guy. I feel like you can tell more of a story with an Instagram picture or a YouTube video than you can with a Snapchat. I'm looking for an emoji and I can't find it. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. Add me on Snapchat if you haven't already. But Eric, what's your Snapchat name? Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Have I seen Breaking Away? Yes, that was one of the movies that actually got me into cycling. Seriously. Um, what was I, sh I, I completely forgot what I was showing you guys. Oh yeah, um, brain wasn't working. Obviously, I didn't. obviously, I'm under carb for the day, guys. Definitely not, let me tell you right now. So, guys, right now, you have diez minutos. So, during the 10-minute rapid-fire Q&A, you can ask me whatever you like, and I answer it. So, let's ask those questions, guys. What can I eat before the gym? I can't take protein because I'm very young. Well, you can take protein because you probably, the protein you're thinking of is commonly found in the food you eat already. So you can eat whatever you'd like. Why don't you respond to people who say you are skinny in a serious way? Because those people are generally trolling and I like to troll with trolls and I like to mess with trolls. Have I had the time or desire to work on swimming yet? Hello, Angie. I have not had the time or desire, mainly just not the time. Because I've been focused on getting from point A to point B, riding my bike. Have I watched Narcos on Netflix? Netflix. No, I've actually, if I'm going to watch anything on Netflix, it's going to be Stranger Things, but I haven't started it yet. No, <laughs> shout out to Lou, says, is SVU on a hiatus? Yes, it is. A place outside of the United States you've always wanted to visit, that would have to be Germany. Do you think I can do cycling and bodybuilding at the same time? Cycling and bodybuilding? Of course you could. No question. There are many cycling, cyclists, bodybuilders out there. What are my goals in life? Um, that is a very broad question. My goals in life right now are to graduate as soon as possible. Am I German? No, I'm Norwegian. Am I religious? Yes, I am. Well, I don't actively practice my religion. I'm a Christian. Like, I don't go to church or anything, but I believe in God. Make any food in your waffle maker recently. Shout out to you, Crystal. One of the most awesome subscribers ever. Last night, I made hash browns in my potato. In my, I almost said I made hash browns in my potato maker. I made hash browns in my waffle maker. So, 
would you consider trying out recipes sent to you by any subscribers? Of course I would. I love anything you guys send me. I freaking love it. Do you think you'll reach the 1,000 pound club in the near future? I've actually technically already reached it, world class. I actually remember the date that I reached the 1,000 pound club. I reached it on, I think it was June 25th or 26th, 2014. That day will always live in infamy. Did you ever go to a personal trainer to learn how to lift or anything? No, I did not. I taught everything. I was self-taught in that sense. I taught myself how to play guitar and I taught myself how to lift weights. Do I know any Norwegian recipes? Um, mm, I know like one and it's like a Norwegian sweet. I almost said Norwegian Swedish meatball. <laughs> Norwegian meatballs. Damn it. Nip slip. Another nip slip. I need to fix this shirt. I fucked it up. How long until the election crap is over? Um, good question. Hopefully soon. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Now, guys, this is going to stir up some controversy. Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Well, it's actually probably isn't going to be controversial at all, but I, as a kid, loved it. I'll say that right now. Absolutely loved it. Now, I don't know if any of you are like me, but when I ate that cereal as a kid, I would put a gargantuan amount of sugar all over the top of it. And that's the only way that I would ever accept eating that cereal. And to this day, I still have to do the same thing. I have to admit it. Other than that, that cereal is not worth eating to me. Did you ever consider doing foreign candy taste test? I always do foreign candy taste tests. In fact, I recently got a package from a loyal subscriber sending me foreign candy, which I was planning on doing a little mukbang with. Shout out to Andy, who sent me a bunch of awesome Irish candy. Yes, world-class people actually add sugar to their cereal. And generally speaking, they're usually overweight or obese, in which case I was. Do I speak Norwegian? No, I do not know a word of Norwegian. You should show your cat on camera. I do not have a cat. Yes, yeah, Sophie says she finds that Rice Krispie treats are more useful in recipes than anything else, and I'm the same way. Oh, shout out to Sarah Bono who says, you look very nice today. You know what? It's better to hear that than people telling me I look down 40. And I and it's funny because it's usually this guy looks like he's 40, 50, 35. And it's I don't really get the 14-year-old comments anymore, which is pretty amusing. But it's just it's always hilarious to me. Hilarious. How was that? I feel like I bit down on sand. Um, let's see. Just got a bike recently. I've been cycling like crazy. Thanks for the inspiration. How do I get faster without having hills to climb? It says Melissa. Awesome job getting a bicycle. Um, 
how do you get faster without having hills to climb? I would recommend sprints or just any type of interval work, which would do fantastic. Do I think my fitness pal will lead to an increase in eating disorders in the future? Not my fitness pal directly because my fitness pal is just another way for people to be able to count calories. People have always had the option to count calories for a long ass time. So, I mean, it's always going to exist. Favorite Avenged Sevenfold song? Oh, it's a hard one. Of all time, would have to either be Seize the Day or Sidewinder off of City of Evil or I won't see it tonight. Part one off of Waking the Fallen. I'd probably say Waking the Fallen is like their best album. Eric just found your channel already. Big fan, man. Any fitness advice for a skinny fat dude? Been stuck with fat but no muscle for a while after losing 80 pounds, says Thomas. Shout out to you, Thomas. Um, so with that, um, I, I don't really think the whole skinny fat thing is honestly like People, people think they're skinny fat when they're really just skinny. Um, if you're truly skinny fat, the best thing you can do is actually to eat in a moderate surplus of calories. So uh, 200 to 300 calorie surplus and make sure that you're lifting heavy as well. You're on a proven program. You're going to get muscle. I mean, that's the best way to get out of it. The worst thing to do is to... Uh, fear your calories to restrict your calories because it's just going to lead to wheel spinning in the end. But shout out to you, buddy. Um, best part for you when riding your bike? Um, many things. I would say recently it's been the weather, getting to get outside. So long as you've biked in one day, it would have to be 114 miles. Ever done CrossFit? <laughs> Seeing how long I can go without laughing. Uh, no, I have not. Nothing against the CrossFit or anything like that at all. Favorite Metallica song would have to be Nothing Else Matters. Because nothing else matters. Yeah, I'm not going to sing. Um, what is your favorite mark of bicycle? Favorite mark? I, just, I fucking love doing that. I don't know why. Um, I I don't know what you mean. I think you mean brand, but I I don't know. Shout out to Carmen. What's up, Carmen? Shout out to one of my childhood buddies. You're a childhood bestie. So fun seeing you after all these years, sucker. We have to actually chill some time, Carmen. Really. Text me back. I think I actually have to text you back though. I lose track of my text. I never check my texts. I need to do that. Do I listen to music while I ride? Um, yes. And a lot of people are going to blame me for that, but I make sure I'm safe, though. I have one ear put out. Favorite zero of all time would have to be these nuts. <laughs> I'm just on a roll, guys. Favorite zero of all time, I can't. I've mentioned, I've, I've talked about this numerous times in my last live streams. Uh, I can't pin it on one cereal. It's going to have to be a toss up between Honey Bunches of Oats um, and uh, Raisin Bran. I'm a huge Raisin, Mar Raisin Bran guy. I love classic cornflakes. Um, you know, there's just so many. Do I still roam around the misc? I've never roamed around the misc. I post on the misc and be, I'm just get super amused with the trolls. T permit tests on Friday got any advice for me? Um, there's one test, at least it was for me, with with the permit stuff. Um, they have you park like parallel parking. The parallel parking test is like the biggest thing. So you have you have parking. You're parking against the curb. And if you hit the curb when you're backing up, they fail you. It's like, you got to take that shit seriously. I took it really seriously that fast. How many snapbacks do I own? Two. Boom. And guys, since the rapid fire Q&A ended about two or three minutes ago, that's going to be it. Everybody, it's about that time. 
at the end of every single live stream, I have to take my hat off for this one. Hat off for this one. I like to have you guys ask me one question. It can be any question in the entire world that you guys would like me to answer. So what I want you guys to do right now is post up any question you like. I answer it to the best of my abilities. They give you a nice little shout out. Tell you how awesome you are. Like Bob Johnson who just said, fucking cunt. He's, he's just such an awesome, beautiful person. What came in the mail today? Nothing came in the mail today. I got somebody else's mail today. I don't know why. These nuts! What would be your dream eating contest? Um, it's hard. It's like I'm literally eating so many things that I just, I don't really, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I fucking don't even know anymore. Um, shout out to Melissa who says, why are you so fantastic? Come to Australia, Eric, I'd love to. Really, I would. Fly me out there. Mm, your arms have two colors. Sarah, you must be new to the channel. <laughs> Sorry I had to say that. Um, I, I don't know. Have I ever done the Happy Meal Challenge? <laughs> no. Uh, what is something you've never told anyone? I doubt, like if there was something I've never told anyone, I doubt I would reveal it on a live stream that's probably gonna be seen by thousands of people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, come on guys, what's, I thought there was like supposed to be like serious, uh, but I should mention that I like to have, you know, questions that are pertaining to, I mean, topics that could help benefit other people too. I don't know. Caroline, that's a good question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose that one. So Caroline, who's an awesome subscriber, who's been around for a while, says, can you actually recover Holy from an eating disorder, is it something that you carry with you for the rest of your life? Because every time you are confronted with food. So um, I was, I had a podcast go on recently. I can't remember his name, but um, this question was asked to this guy as well. This gentleman was a uh, recovering, recovered guy with an eating disorder. And, um, but he was asked this question by the people interviewing him and I had to adopt that same thought process as well. And he said that um, in order um, to recover from an eating disorder, or can you be fully recovered, is uh, you can't define recovery for somebody else because recovery can mean so many different things. Fully recovered can mean so many different things. So I've always, openly stated that you never fully recover from an eating disorder. Um, and that can mean many different things. I mean, I, I mean, fully recovered is totally subjective. I feel like the voices in your head eventually diminish and you learn to, uh, to tone them down, to not listen to them. Um, and that's the, that's the biggest thing. A lot of people right now, I, I would say probably 90 to 95% of you don't have eating disorders. So you have no idea what it's like to live with one. You're probably not even listening to what I'm saying right now, but that's completely fine. Um, so, but yeah, the biggest thing really for everybody to take away from all of this is that um, as you go on with your life and you realize that uh, food is just another, it's a secondary aspect to your life. It's not the main thing that your eating disorder makes it out to be as the thing that's on the pedestal that you have to focus on. As you realize that, you'll eventually realize that the voices in your head that have been telling you to do all of these things around food, they go away. So uh, an eating disorder is, any, is, is 
essentially like any other mental disorder out there. It's, a, it's like depression, um, bipolar disorder, just I can name off so many. You really have to work at it. So um, that's pretty much what I have to say. <sighs> yeah. Serious, yeah. And the uh, you or and the uh, music, the uh, sad music there. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, after every single question like that, I usually end the live stream. How old am I? Damn it! I'm obviously 16. I said it already. No, I'm 23. I just turned 23. Thank you, guys for tuning in to the live stream. I love doing these. I might do one one at a time during the week. What I want you guys to do, of course, is to post, when this live stream gets posted, what you want me to do in terms of um, a video idea or anything like that, include in the video. Do you want me to go back to cereal reviews again? Do you want me to do more ice cream, Ben & Jerry's reviews? What do you want to see from me? Also post what day you think I should do live streams on. So. Yes, that is it. Stay tuned, my friends, because I'll be posting up the next vlog, hopefully tonight, if I get time. But yeah, it's been awesome, guys. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in the live stream. World class, if you're still there, go ride a bike. See you guys.